a uh, little break from what I normally do. I've got um, a lovely big box here and it's just arrived today and it's from Micro Aces. So thank you John for sending it down to me. So one of the first of the batch of his new Newport 17. And I'm just going to have a look, see what she looks like. For those of you that don't know about the uh, Micro Aces kits, half of the little models I've got on my shelf are all Micro Aces, but here we go. Indoor flyers, extraordinaire. They take quite a bit of building. I'll probably do a little build log on this one as I go. But um, here we go. Da -da 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 um, one thing my races are now doing, and that is uh, supplying a build instructions with each kit. It's, uh, it's just looking at in a minute. First off, some hardware. Uh, normally you would have sent the receiver, but they're on there, still on their way. So a nice little motor and gearbox. Propeller for same. And propeller boss and self adhesive sticky for sticking the receiver to the model. And say normally the receiver and servo unit would be in there, but yes, we're following on. It's all very nicely packaged, very strong packaging. In here, we have a model aeroplane. Let's just get that. Opened up. I'll start with the. Right, I'm gonna put, no. I'm gonna pull it all out at once because it's it's uh, all together. All right, here's a hardware pack, which includes our plywood bits for the cowling and engine mount, vacuum formed cowling there, push rods and the pilot man is the plastic sheet with a lot of the plastic components for the uh, struts and undercarriage and all the engine parts for the rotary engine for the machine gun uh, for those that you don't know um, micro aces kits have a lot of uh, plastic parts which are attached uh, to uh, carbon uh, carbon parts that uh, provide really solid um, really good strength etc here's the uh, bees knees fuselage this is two millimeter thick depth on incredibly flexible actually I mean it, it just it just doesn't break um, fuselage, uh, formers for fuselage and bits and bobs, the sticker sheet, a lot of the components are um, have stickers on them, even the propeller has sticker, stickers on them that look really good, let's put that over there. Um, Lastly, the two millimeter depth on wings. Gorgeous, colored both sides. And the assembly guide, which used to be online, which is a bit of a nuisance actually, just having to flick forward, up and down, up and down all the time. And this is what's been one of the holdups uh, for this kit is 
with John's been working on getting the getting this printed up. It's beautiful, lovely. Should enjoy using that. Um, I'm I'm putting this short little build um, log together. Um, I don't know John personally, and uh, although we own, their factory is probably only um, oh, 60, 70 miles from where I live, and it, but he ships all over the world, and I'm not surprised because they're lovely models. So I should be making a start on this one. I've still got my Newport uh, 11 I'm building. Uh, which I might have to break off from. Slightly different construction for those that have seen my other build blog. It's uh, a Grillo's rubber powered kit. It looks huge actually, holding it up like that. It's, it's quite short, put it near me. Um, this one's uh, quite a long build, but he's coming together. Uh, uh, but John's will, will come together a lot quicker, but it's a much smaller aeroplane. If I compare the top wing with the top wing for my Grillo's kit, you'll see a slight difference in scale. <laughs> Here we go, look. top wing, top wing. So it's it's almost double the, the span. But these are 1S batteries, that one's gonna be a 2S. Yeah, I can't wait to start. Shall I start now? As a lot of you guys know, it's it's fatal to start more than one model at a time because you end up with loads of half finished models. But I've got the uh, next few days off over the Christmas break. So if I'm allowed, if I can sneak in here, um, I'll probably start making this one as well. It's glued together uh, using, I've got some here. You who pour, which is like a sort of a clear contact adhesive, but it works really, really well for these models. And uh, as I say, I, I'm one of the first to receive this now. So should I crack on with it or should I put delay? I'm, I'm torn. I think I'll um, do a bit of both, bit of both. I'll tell you what, while the glue's drying on something there, I could do a bit of this one. While the glue's drying on this one here, I can do, do a bit of that one. So there it is. That's my unboxing of the Micro Aces, new Micro Aces, Newport 17. I'm not affiliated to John in, in any way. Uh, I just love his models. If you know, if you know my models, you'll know that I'm a bit of a fan of of John's. So here's my other micro aces. I've got the SE5, the Fokker triplane, the Fokker D7, sort with Camel, sort with triplane DH2. They're all flyers. Hope you can see those. They're all flyers. They all look stunning in the air. The two I'm flying at the moment is the Camel in the uh, D7. Anyway, let's pop you back there. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned. And it's going to be fun. Like and subscribe if you want to keep up with this little aeroplane. Cheers for now.